video. I decided to make a YouTube video about this because I could not believe there was not a video about this already. I am, I am born and raised from Utah. And Utah is weird. From Salt Lake City, not Park City. Park City is the fun city. I feel like if you were born and raised in Utah and you're from Park City, it's like different from being from Salt Lake City. Like you have a whole different view because Park City is cool. Because they have Sundance Film Festival and people want to live there and people visit there to ski. Salt Lake City is just where the airport's at. Fun fact, the population is mostly Mormon. <laughs> we have probably the best Halloween or haunted houses and Halloween themes I've ever seen. I think Halloween's like so freaking dope in Utah. Lagoon. Lagoon is a theme park. They have like one new ride every four years and that ride's like the awesome thing to do. You wanna go there with all your friends if you're not going there on the summer. If you're not going there in the summers, you're working there in the summers because everyone that works there is 12, 14 years old and they're really happy to be working there. <laughs> fry sauce. Y'all are missing out on fries. It's so good. It's pretty much mayo and ketchup and it's delicious. There, of course, is no black people. <laughs> not really. There's like a few like sprinkles. Sprinkle of us. We're not really, we're not really there. What there is a lot of there is an insane amount of well not insane but I mean yeah no there's a there's a good amount of Polynesian people Polynesians if you don't know what they are they are a tiny islands kind of over here looks like Hawaiianers a little bit but they're called Tongan Samoan Tongan Samoan but they're really cool they kind of look like me they have like long black thick hair there are a lot of football players because they're freaking built, which so our football teams were like dope because if you were in like a diverse area, which there's only like two diverse areas in Utah, you had like a dope ass football team. There's also like this weird extreme. So it's like you're Mormon. You don't uh, drink coffee, you do booze, you have cereal parties, things like that, or you're not Mormon, you're like the rebellion and you have gauges, tattoos, listen to punk music, go to warehouse parties every weekend. Both very, very extreme. And everything's closed on Sunday, of course. All booze Sunday? No. Candy on Sunday? 7-Elevens are open. <laughs> Everyone wanted me to straighten my hair. That was like a huge thing. So everyone wanted to straighten my hair. Yada 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 yada. Straighten your hair. Or be like, your hair's so pretty. Why don't you straighten it? Your hair's so pretty. Why don't you straighten it? Your hair's so pretty. Have you ever straightened it? Yes, I have. It's a pain in the ass, but I have done it. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, but no, I did straighten my hair for a very long time because I fell into the alternative scene, I guess you could say. So believe it or not, I straightened my hair and would flip my bangs and dyed them blonde and the tips of my hair was blonde. And I did that for way too long. <laughs> the homeless people, there's not, compared to New York, there's not a lot of them, but there is like a street full of them. It's usually like State Street or Redwood Road or somewhere downtown. And sometimes they chase you. It's usually because we have a huge ass meth problem in Utah. So everyone, all the hobos, all those people in Utah usually are meth and that shit's scary. In New York, all the hobos are like chilling. I'm like, y'all ain't scary. No one's screaming at me or chasing me down the road yet. You are yelling at walls, but at least not yelling at me. I mean, we're very cur uh, courteous drivers, almost courteous, but it's like annoying. It's like, you go first, you go first, you go first, then you go first, then you go first, then you go first. And that's another thing. People are really freaking nice in Utah, like really, really nice. It's almost always because they want you to be Mormon. Like, you'll have friends, they'll be super nice to you, and you guys think you're like great friends. And they'll be like, do you want to come to my church? And then you say no. Or you'll be like, do you want to come to this party? 
with my church where we like do church things, but it's actually a party. You get there and everyone's trying to give you their Mormon, Mormonism, Mormonism, Mormonism is trying to make you into something you're not. So that happened a lot. And you weren't invited to a lot of parties because your family was Mormon, which is fine. It's just weird. And it's funny. The funny thing is when I go back to Utah and I see a black person, I'm just like, where are you from? And they're always from like Texas or somewhere crazy going to, going to college. And I'm like, I know you're not from here because you were not here when I was here. Because there was like five of us. <laughs> uh, 16 and pregnant. Pretty sure it was based out of Utah or like they came to Utah and they're like, we can make money because the rest of the world doesn't have kids when they're 14, 15, and 16. When it happens all over Utah all the freaking time to almost everyone I know. Oh, greatest snow on earth. It's all right. It's not the greatest. The weather's bipolar, so some years it's great, some years, some years it's work. It's a weird place. I always tell people, go there, it's beautiful. Eat Mexican food, go to Bryce Canyon, go to Park City, actually. Screw that, just go to Park City. It's good there. The food's good. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment below about your thoughts, opinions, questions, comments, concerns. I will be posting videos twice a week, so make sure you subscribe so you can get a notification when a new video is out. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.